Hi. I'm here with the Alpha 4C girl, but no 4C today. Today she's got her CX-5 Mazda and she's going to do the oil change on it for the first time. You're going to show us how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we already got it up on the ramps and now we need to get underneath it. So let me grab a piece of cardboard. Mazda actually makes it pretty darn easy for us. Get under here and this panel right back here is the one you got to take off. You have like two little eight millimeter bolts to take off. And then there's like these little push pin things like these guys, which uh, you get underneath there and like pop those out and then you're able to take them, uh, pull the little pins out. Here's a little tray to put your screws in so they don't go flying anywhere. Those little push pins, yeah, they have like a center part that like you pull down and then when you, after you pull it down, you can just pull the pin out. So how do you pull this out? So there's like a little center part to it, right? You can use like a pick like this. And like if you pull down on that center part, you should then be able to like pop out the, the pin. Yeah, there you go. And there's there's another one over there, kind of like right above your head. This one is hard. You have a hard time doing it. There we go, trim removal tool, got it. It is a slightly different kind of clip. From the other one? From the other one, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so once you have this panel off mm -hmm. you can you can easily see and that's your oil filter right there mm -hmm. and then this is your drain plug right there okay so we got to take the drain plug out and drain all the oil out okay that's the next step all right so it's a 17. go ahead and loosen it just a little bit but don't take it all the way out just which yet. way this way counterclockwise yes this way towards yeah. me towards you yep holy shit it's heavy <laughs> Oh my god. They did it very tight. Okay, here we go. So if you need if you need a little bit more leverage, what you can do is take another wrench, put it in there like that. Now you can push down on, on this all the way out here and get more leverage. Is it loose? Yep. Okay. All right, stop taking it out. It's so hot because I just drove it. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty warm, so you don't wanna like get it all over you you know but once you start get, letting it come out you can just drop the drop the plug where no you can let it fall into the pan because it's not gonna this has got like a separate top and a hole in it so you're not gonna lose it you know okay here we go oh shit <laughs> it's, on my hand. it's hot <sighs> here you gonna wipe it some more oh yeah like look at the steam coming off and sometimes as it slows down you need to adjust the pan just a little bit just to make sure it's catching the drips but it's almost done doesn't take that long to... no it doesn't take that long especially when it's hot mm -hmm. like it flows out pretty quickly it looks like it's pretty much done so you can go ahead and grab your um your plug i think you just set it down and yeah it's in the middle right there so yeah you can go ahead and screw that guy back in mm -hmm. if i can see where is that Once you got it going in, you can push the, push the pan out of the way. And how tight it was, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't actually need to be that tight. Like you just need to like snug it up just really good. Like grab the, the bottom of the wrench. Mm -hmm. That way you'll get the best leverage like whenever you, you push. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's plenty tight. Well, we weren't filming, but we did get the filter undone. <laughs> Whoops missed filming that but that's pretty easy you just unscrew it and then it sits up in there straight like this so after you unscrew it you just dump it out into the oil pan like that do you want me to do it over <laughs> no <laughs> don't need to do it over but we can definitely see you putting the new one in and this thing uses such tiny little filters i'm, I'm actually surprised at how small the filter is one thing about the filter is that you see this little rubber ring on it. You need to have oil in there. Yeah, you don't want to put that on dry. So, like, take your stick your finger down in there and like just get like some oil on your finger, 
and rub that around. It's like putting oil on the lips. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> like. if you put that on dry, then it's going to stick like next time you try to get it undone. You don't need to clean the old oil out. Nah, you don't really need to clean it. You can just put it up in there and, and screw it on. And actually, don't use the wrench on it. Um, just grab it like really hard with your hands and tighten it in. Is that good? Yeah, I mean like just like grip it, grip it as hard as you can and just give it like a nice good like tighten with your hands and that's good enough. They don't have to be put on very hard. I think that's good. Oh. Yeah. I know when it's not good, when I'm driving all of a sudden all the oil come out. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You can go ahead and put your little plastic cover back on. Now, I think it kind of had like some tabs that it sort of slid Sit up in. in there. Yeah. There we go. So the front side kind of like dips in first. Okay, where's my screw? How do you put the plastic plugs in? Oh, don't have don't have that middle part in. So you got to have like that middle part like out. So with that middle part like pulled down, <laughs> you kind of like put it in and you push you push from like that flange, the bottom flange. Which one is this one belongs to? That one belongs over there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. And then you push the middle part in. Yep. Just like that. It's all mangled. Obviously, whoever did your last oil change wasn't too uh, gentle with it. But, you know, it works. Yeah, there you go. Wait, did I do it right? How come it's, like, so loose? So those things, they're not going to get super tight because they're just going into plastic, you know? You actually don't want to over-tighten them. Just kind of, like, go, like, run them up until they're... They look like they're flush. All right. So the hard part's over. All How right. was that? That wasn't too bad, right? Nope. It was good. So now, if you look up here, you're not tall enough. You got a uh, something that I can stand on. Actually, yeah. Let me go get a step ladder. Okay, open this. All right, yeah. Open up your oil fill there. Oh, it's still hot. Yeah. You can just set it there. Or... Yeah. Okay. All right, so now I'll stick the funnel down in there. Let's see the the markings on the side of it. Let's put uh, four quarts in and then check the level. This is like how full it is. So like you're gonna like drain it until it's down to one. one? Yeah, one quart. And then we'll check the level. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, I didn't know it's gonna be like that. Well, you know, accidents happen, so it's okay. We can actually, we'll pop that off and like clean that better here in a second. So let me get you another rag. You can kind of wipe off the stick after you pull it out. You can use this one or that one, whichever. The goal is to have it second. Yeah, up at that the top top dot. Let's see where we're at. You see, it's. It's covering the bottom dot mm -hmm. and not quite covering the, the top dot. So we can, a little bit more. Yeah, we can probably put that like a half, another half cord in. So a quick note on the oil capacity. Everything on the internet will tell you it's 4.5 quarts, but that's wrong. It's actually 4.5 liters. And according to the owner's manual, that's 4.8 quarts. But even that isn't quite accurate either. We ended up using the whole five quarts to fill it completely. And after speaking with some other CX-5 owners, that seems to be normal. So I still recommend starting off at 4.5 quarts and then checking your levels on your dipstick and just topping it off as needed. I would say, I would say you're done. Yay. Let's go ahead and put the cap back in there. And... So your first oil change in the Mazda. Yeah, the Mazda. <laughs> what it's do you think? It's not Mazda, it's Mazda. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. High five. Dirty. Dirty, hands. <laughs> Dirty high five. Right. Well, I hope you guys found that useful. And you know, the the Mazda CX-5 makes it pretty easy. Mazda. Where'd you go? You're down there. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up too. Bye. But wait, we almost forgot. We still have to reset the oil change light. There's it's like a, the application icons. Yeah, applications. App. And then you vehicle status monitor. Yep. 
There you go. Yeah, go to maintenance. Oh, change. Yay. And reset. Reset. Enable. Reset. Right there. Yeah, reset. And there you go. Yeah, the oil change due warning light went off up here. Yay. So, there you go. That was it. That works. Thank <laughs> you.